So if we have this set up right, Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 36, Cycles Awareness, Part 2. Today's episode, uh, we further extended our working definition of what does it mean to compose in multiple dimensions. We said the other day, it's when you have more than five factors you're dealing with. So far, we are dealing with two, one time and three time beat, uh, what we call familiar and exotic themes, comforting and disturbing themes, minor major full modes, and slow fast tempos. Other dimensions for us to work in are timbre, one versus many. If we transpose from the first root, we go from one to many. And if we start adding more syncopation, we'll go from simple to syncopated. Arguably, we've kind of done this because We've, uh, we're using fast threes and so forth. So we're kind of pushing into that sixth dimension area. So we identified those. Then we added uh, what we call our work area two. So what we needed, we needed a buffer. If you recall our work method, we start with a scale reference system all the way back here. Then we generated a bunch of uh, melodic ideas, you know, like. And then everything that's balded here, we have now carried forward into an actual working composition. And there are still some like this that are unbolded, uh, waiting, waiting in the wings. And in order to help us do that, we would kind of use this buffer work area too to copy it from there to here. And then we would copy it into our, uh, final compositions. So we have two works in progress. One is called Float, which you just heard part of, and the second one is called Poise. And both of these today, we cleaned up the annotation. We cleaned up what we call the energy story. So we know, you know, when it's an urge, when it's a rest, when it's a clash. Uh, we cleaned up the, the labels of the parts and the lines and kind of nitty gritty find structure about what kind of interval is going on in there. So what we want to do for you is play uh, the poise. Before we do that, we also want to brag about what we did here with the animation. You may recall that at our last stream, we had got it up to the point where we had four shapes and the edges of the shapes were all different. And there are four different shapes and their edges would ripple uh, when sound came at them. And, uh, and then we, as an example of sound, we, which you just heard, was, was the, the float. But what we did today is we made a new scene out of that and we overlay them on top of each other, which we have to keep doing this to show you. So you can see they're on top of each other and um, and then when you play music through it like float then you can actually see it driving it so i think it's a cool effect this has four things laid on top of each other so you could argue that we have four dimensions represented so far and and we will we will argue that but now that we figured out, we were running out of room over here. We were running out of room because there were only, you know, push it over. I guess we could put two more over here. I guess we could. But then it's hard to keep track of what's going on. But when it looks like this, it's kind of like all aiming at you. It's kind of like, I don't know, looking at them from, in this case, the fifth dimension, looking at all four subdimensions at once. So we're going to play this part, this new piece for you. It is new, and that'll take us home. Here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this poise work in progress is this whole second half got added and it has made a nice balance. We now have 40 slow bars here and we've labeled the, the theme, familiar, disturbing, comforting. And then we had already these two middle sections, which are fast bars. And then the front section is uh, slow bars again. So basically it's uh, slow, fast, slow, and it's gonna be about three equal duration pieces. We also, as you saw, labeled what are the uh, familiar, comforting, disturbing, and exotic. And exotic tends to come in here in the third, the third arc, very much so. So we like that. Our ideas for next time are to add some more parts, such as harmony. Uh, a technical question came up. We realized if we if we took the B flat and the B, which are the two shared urge notes, and we could technically make a four tetraton, tetratonic scale minor major pair. What if we did that? We don't know if we're going to do that or not. We had, when we rendered our test video, we got some weird little black lines in them, so we got to double check that. And then we want to go back to our first work area and see if we want to work with the leftover material we haven't used yet. So thank you for your time, curiosity, attention, and interest. Shout outs to the music producer, A. Dawson, Brendan Gomez Music, and Mr. Spatz. Thank you for your comments on the stream and your suggestions and tips. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back. Do take care and do keep on streaming.